Hello. Um, okay, so this is day, I think it's 313 or 312. One or the other. Can't remember. Getting there. Um, okay, so what I do actually want to talk about today is money. So really interesting. Uh, last week I actually gave um, uh, this girl a lift uh, to the ferry with me. And it was just kind of nice to have like the company on the ride and on the drive. And... Uh, I've never like really met her before, but it was turns out we actually like are from the same area. Um, and so that was kind of cool. So, uh, before I, my brain is like a little mumbo jumbo today. So what I wanted to mention was that even we were talking about so many different topics in the car, uh, all sorts of stuff. And I told her like how, you know, like I do, like I'm, I have a money program and everything. And she was like, you know, she was like, I find it really interesting. I just like, I never thought of, you know, like doing money work or like looking at money. And it was like almost this like realization of her saying that because for me right now I am surrounded a lot with, you know, coaches that I invest in or um, other entrepreneurs that are also on the same path and journey as I am. And like, we're all talking about the same kind of things like self-development and inner work and money work and like entrepreneurship and, and all that, that aspect. And it's like when, I, you know, those of you who are watching this that understand what I'm saying, like when you're so like in this world, that's all you see and you don't see anything else. Um, like anything else because you're just in that like so to speak little bubble which is which is fine there's something wrong with it but you know it's nice to come out of that bubble and it's nice to um take a step back and be like oh there's a lot of people that are you know not aware about money work or not even you know had the idea to really look at that like maybe they know about therapy or you know kind of like the the inner work in terms of like looking at your own self-worth and everything but not when it comes to money and um that you know it they just go on like day by day like living life in terms of like just how it is right and so I think that um you know especially if it's like someone who has like a comfortable like consistent pay and you know like the their bills are being paid for like there's no stress in that there might be some triggering when it comes to like unexpected expenses or when certain prices go up or when the stock market goes down and crashes there'll be like those trigger points but you know on the day-to-day -day, you know if someone has like the money and they're paying their bills and they're still going out and doing the thing, maybe they're not really thinking about money work. And so it was like interesting to kind of like take a look at it from that perspective and be like, huh, very interesting. And it's not that everybody needs to do money work. I don't think like, I, I think that everybody's on their own path and journey and whatever, like wherever it leads them, whether it's doing money work or other inner work or no inner work at all, you know, as well. Like, it's like not everybody's like life path is meant for that. And that's cool. Um, I am not here to life force anybody to do what they need to do. It's always to, you know, the individual's discretion. I will talk about my shit. I will talk about what lights me up, obviously. And if I have an invitation to speak more about it, then I will speak more about it and be like, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just like really interesting. But I do think that there is like, a, I do think that there is something beautiful about doing money work. Like whether you have consistent income or not, I think there's like something amazing about it because money is so much in our lives right now, um, but always has been. Uh, but at this point with everything that's happening in the external environment in terms of like stock market and the economy and the scarcity and the not enough, the, the current lack mentality, I think it is important to do money work. I think it is important to look at our relationship with money because then, 
instead of being stressed, anxious, angry, triggered, bitter, frustrated by it, you can develop a much more smoother, easier, loving relationship. And that's like the way I kind of see it. Now, obviously, it's up to each and every individual. Again, keep kind of keep reeling that in. But I do think it is important because like, I just, I see it all the time. You know, we all see it. We, and even I do it sometimes too, like uh, gas prices go up or the stock market, like this, you know, you want to cash out some stocks and then the day, like the day comes and you're like, Hey, I'm going to cash it out today. And then it like drops by like fucking $10 and you're just like, "Mm." and so all this stuff that, you know, when something goes up or down, when it comes to money, when there's something unexpected causing this like trigger reaction, what if, what if it didn't cause such a big trigger reaction? What if the trigger was less? What if it wasn't a trigger at all? What if you were able to like heal that and not freak the fuck out every time something like that happens? So that is like kind of like for me like what is more important and now that may not be the importance for everybody like I decided to go into money work and do this because I just did not like how I felt with it it was it always felt like it was not enough and like always in this place of scarcity I didn't want to feel that for me that didn't feel good that didn't feel good in my body and it was not how like I didn't want to give like my power away to money and like no, I want, I, I want to be able to live my life the way I desire to. Money is not going to dictate that. And so that is like the shifts I'm making. And so by doing this money work and by doing the inner work that I am doing, I'm basically like making certain dreams come true that... <laughs> It, like, it would, like, um, honestly, like, it wouldn't even, like, you know, like, I wouldn't, uh, I can't even speak today. Like, I think, well, Mercury's in shadow. Um, We're going Mercury retrograde is coming up. But, yeah, there's just certain dreams that I would have not, that I'm, like, accomplishing right now that I'm in the process of making happen that I would have never thought would be possible. I would have never thought that it would be something that is, like, could actually be a version of reality but I'm making it happen. So it's kind of cool. Anyways, this was like a ram- random like little ramble about like money. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you watch this video, let me know what your thoughts are. Well, if you made it so- this far and then you're hearing me say this, obviously, duh, Julie. Um, so let me know. Let me know. And I do have my money program that is starting round two in January. And so if you are interested in that, that's basically the basis to heal your relationship with money. Go go to the root of it all. Go to the root of it all. And so then you can have a nice, loving relationship with money and that you can love money like I love money. And that you don't have to feel stressed when the gas prices go up because you can be like, no, it's cool. It's cool. It's going to come back to me tenfold and then watch it come back to you in tenfold. Yeah. So, okay. I'm going to go. I'm like really tired today. And... I'm going to just go chill and probably shower. I hope you all had a lovely, lovely day. Okay, I'm, I'm leaving. Bye.